from the moment we wake up. When you're brushing your teeth. Or when you're vacuuming or hoovering. They're even having a nice hot brew in sun. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make a good old fashioned vlog. See, I was going to show them the garden, but you've hung all your washing out. And now I can't film the garden without getting your pants in it. Isn't that what an honest vlog is? Filming your pants on washing line. Let me show you what we're doing with the garden. Or more what we've done with the garden and then future plans for what we're going to do with the garden. Ooh. That looks like somebody's escaped. Daze. 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 Look at her, just straight up, just not listening to me. Daze. Daze. You're just ignoring me. You're not even trying to listen to me. Okay, let me show you around the garden. This is basically what we did yesterday. Please ig ignore the washing line and the skip at the end of the garden. So yesterday, decided to cut the entire of the garden. It was like this high. Looked like something from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So yesterday's mission was to just make the garden just look a little bit nicer. So the plans are with the garden to put a driveway on that section and then keep this front section that's closer towards the house as an actual garden. So that's why this is here. So we've run a line of slate down, put some solar lights in between these trees. What are, Liz, what are these trees? Ferns? Conifers? Yeah, conifers, I think. They were like 15 quid at B&Q, min. Dug that trench yesterday. Honestly, this back garden is an absolute mess. However, there's this giant flat wall here that faces out into the garden. So plan is projector screen, seating area, fire pit, barbecue area, and then driveway. That's a, that's a solid setup. I might be thinking like, what's the point? Why are you showing me around all this? Why do I need to see any of this? Well, the point is, is because back not too long ago, vlogs were a massive thing. Back in the days of Casey Neistat, where we'd upload every single day, still to this day have no idea how we did that. The amount of work that must have gone into every single video is just ridiculous. But then again, it was one of those type of guys that would just duct tape his camera together if it broke. It wasn't exactly careful with his gear. Not like us that spend so much on camera gear that we're so scared of actually putting it in places to actually get the shot. However, since then, over the past few years, since short form content has sort of taken over, vlogs have seemed to have dropped off quite a bit. But back in the day, Casey Neistat and the people like Peter McKinnon, Matty Harpoyer and Teppo and all them, they would make vlogs that had actual story, substance and taught you something. All of that was all made possible by one lens. And that's the 15 to 35 f2.8. But the 16 to 35 and 15 to 35 are the lenses that made all of your favorite videos possible because they gave such a wide angle to display what environment these people were in and were able to punch in just tight enough to create an interesting story and isolate subjects. When you needed to be serious, you could be serious by punching in. When you needed to be funny, you could be funny by punching in. When you needed to show an environment, you could shoot it at 15 millimeter, 16 millimeter and really capture an entire landscape. And it's not just the focal length of the lens as well. You've got f2.8 and image stabilization. So making vlogs has never looked more cinematic. You've got that shallow depth of field, whether or not you're at 15 mil or 30 35 mil. You've got that image stabilization, no matter whether or not how shaky your footage is, it's still going to come out usable. And this lens just gave every single video a rawness to it that made the audience feel like they were really there with your favorite creator. Oh, having a cup of tea was like the worst idea. It is so hot here. There's literally no wind in between these houses and it's just, it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting burnt. I can feel my skin like, melting and one of the common things that people get wrong about vlogs is that they always have to be doing something amazing like traveling abroad and seeing new places and bike riding and atv racing and sand dunes and things like that no you can literally just take a camera in your house do the washing up fix the toilet wake up put your socks on brush your teeth do whatever you want and that's the beauty of the lens it gives you every single option under the sun to document your life you see, there's a reason why Apple decided to give us a 0.5 times and a 1 times, which would equivalent, which would technically be the equivalent to a 15 to 35, because even they know that that is the best focal range for beginners and professionals. Oh, Liz, is that bleach on my OVO jumper? Because it's not come out. Is it pink? Does bleach go pink? 
Is that what that is? Yeah. Uh, does it, will it come out? No. Fuming. No. Really? That'll not come out? Oh. If anybody knows a way to get bleach out of jumpers, please let me know, because this is like my favorite jumper. So these nachos need going in the bin. No, they don't. You see, that's one of the great things about a vlog. That's, in fact, one of the best things about a vlog is that you have full reign over what goes on. You don't actually have to make a plan for a vlog. You can just film whatever happens during that day. And the best thing about it is knowing that you've got the lens to capture every single moment. I didn't have a plan for this video. I woke up this morning, I had an idea, and now I'm just executing with absolutely no plan and just hoping it works. And that's the whole point of a vlog. But one of the biggest questions is, how do you end a vlog? Uh...